about how I grew up, and I think as I tell you the life lessons I've learned, you know, I don't know if it's, it's uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, if it can help or doesn't help, but, you know, I'll just kind of speak from the heart and tell you what I think is, you know, been my life lessons and, and what, how I've got where I'm at. I think the first thing, if, you know, you talk about a life lesson and how you get somewhere in, in this world today, I was instilled with my father. I was working when I was 14 years old. I was driving, and uh, I drove an old beat-up truck into town, and I was delivering wheat to the grain elevator and driving back, and that's how I was raised. Uh, my brother and I were running a hay monster when we were 16. That's when you walk along and pick the bells up and put them on the trailer. I was doing that when I was 16 years old. So I've gotten where I've gotten in my life through hard work. and. Uh, you know, I, I was instilled with that with my father. My father worked two jobs to help put food on the table. And, uh, you know, my mother was uh, a person that babysat it and, and, and was made sure we had structure at home. And, uh, you know, my dad always taught me, said, you cannot do anything with hard work. And the thing with hard work, just like we tell our players, it takes no talent to work hard. And as a student, you can be an under, you can be a student as a, a 2.3 student, but if you work hard, I believe you can be a 2.8, 2.9 student. I tell our players that all the time. You know, in high school, I know that I overachieved in school, but I worked at it. And so I think you get out of life what you put in it, and I think you have to, to work hard. And, and you know, I, I wouldn't be here, believe me, in my life if I hadn't worked hard. You know, my first job coaching a high school and then going to the college level, and I worked for a guy named Dennis Franchoni, my wife, she, she, she couldn't believe we were working hours. We'd go until 6 in the morning and get home at 2 at night. And that's, that was the way it was. I didn't know any different. And so, you know, working hard, I think, is important. And if you, you can't do that, there's no way you can be successful. I believe you can outwork people. That's what we're trying to do. Iowa State, you know, we're getting ready to play them in football. And I believe we've got to outwork them. They've got a little bit more talent than we do. But I believe we can outwork them. Maybe we've done, maybe do a little extra. We're a little later getting off the field today. There's a reason. I want to make sure we didn't make a mistake. So, you know, that's just how I approach life is that, you know, while somebody else may be sitting around not doing a whole lot, I'm going to try to take advantage of that. And when you think about the business world, that's really what you got to do because it's so competitive out there. You've always got to have an edge. And the only way you can get an edge is work at it. So I think one big life lesson in my life is I was fortunate to have the background. I was taught how to work by my mother and my mother and father. I didn't have a choice. And that's a different in our culture today. I can tell you a lot of guys that play on our football team never had a job. I mean, they didn't, they didn't have not one. So, I mean, I think the hard work is something that's important. I think the biggest thing, another life lesson I've learned to have to do, and I think if you're gonna be successful in anything you do, you have to learn how to handle adversity. I mean, you're gonna have adversity. And, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's just, I mean, I've had a lot in, in my life, for example, when I first took the job, I went to Southern Illinois before I came here. Our first season, we were one in 10. You know, we didn't have a very good season. I knew we weren't gonna have one because we didn't have a lot of talent. I had a great coaching staff, and most of them are still with me to this day. We never turned our back on each other. We stayed right in there because we had a vision. We knew where we were going, and we just kind of looked adversity in the eye and said, hey, we're not gonna turn our back on each other. You know, we're gonna stick in here. You're gonna have that type of, uh, of adversity, you're gonna fail. I can tell you right now that, you know, uh, there's been jobs that I thought I should got or didn't get, or in, in our business, you get fired. I mean, that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, uh, I thought Mr. Jordan, who built this building, uh, or was part of building this building, told me he got fired five times, five times. You know, and he, he's got a lot of money now, but he's fired five times before he got that Dennis Parsimer. Guy's got his name all over. He failed before he succeeded. But he knew how to handle adversity. You know, he didn't he didn't just check it in, so to speak. He kept working at it, kept his faith, kept his core beliefs. You gotta keep your core beliefs and how you've been raised and, and what you believe in when adverse conditions. We're gonna be in, in some adversity when we go play Iowa State. And I told our kids, how you handle it will, will determine whether we're successful or not. And and how you handle it is that you, you go back to the fundamentals when things go bad in your life. Go back to the fundamentals of your life and how you've been raised and what you've been taught when things don't go your way. You're gonna lose a family member. I lost my best friend when he's 27 years old. I lost my father to cancer who was an inspirational person in my life, still is to this day. 
You know, I, I guarantee you when I go to Ames, Iowa, I think he's watching the game. He puts, he still puts pressure on me. I, want, I don't want to let him down, you know. But you have to be able to handle adversity during that time when you lose a family member. You know, there's a lot of people that struggle with that. That's when you have to, to go back to your fundamentals and hang in there. And, uh, you're, you know, I'm telling you, you all will have, you will all fail at one time, and how you handle failure will determine whether you're successful and whether you'll succeed or not. So you have to handle adversity. It's always out there, and, and, and there's always tough times. The other thing I've learned over life, and, and I didn't always handle adversity all the time very good. When I was young, I didn't handle it very good. We've been married 27 years. My wife will vouch for that. You know, when you you know when you're married for 27 years, it ain't all perfect. Let me tell you, you have to work at it. And there's adversity in that marriage, and there's there's trying to figure out whose time and, and support. She gave up, my wife sang, and, and uh, she's a great singer, and, and did plays, and did all those things. But when we had children, she gave all that up to let me be a football coach. So there's a lot of give and take, and, and but there's adversity through those decisions. But you know what, we've been married 27 years, we've worked through that. So it's important that you understand that. The other thing is I've learned, and that's my second life, third life lesson is, is I feel it's very important to give back. You know, I think it's important to give back. Woody Hayes, a good football coach, says pay forward. I think life's about life's about giving back. 